today's video, we'll be using Chatillon Luxe and Declaration Groomings 1904. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John, aka Latherhog. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're looking for things related to the world of wet shaving, you've come to the right place. It's been a bit of a rough week leading up to this video as I've been kind of fighting a cold. I'm glad to say I'm finally on the mend and able to smell things again because I was super congested, just super tired. Um, not COVID related, just your standard cold, but still nonetheless wasn't very pleasant. The soap and splash that we'll be covering today is one that uh, got put on hold because of said cold, but uh, this is going to be a first impressions video and we're looking at the scent 1904 and this scent comes from Sean Mayer's Chateau Lux, who I recently had the pleasure of speaking with on the Ladder Talk podcast uh, for Sean's Chateau Lux line. All of it is kind of uh, production wise is done with Scott Stewart's Declaration Grooming. So soap here is in that milk steak base and also the matching splash right here. It's an alcohol based aftershave splash with a optional side of menthol droppers, which I don't usually use. Uh, anyway, this scent here is what we're gonna look at today. So yeah, first impressions, uh, let's take a look. Nice label. Uh, I do like the um, uniformity of the kind of template design that Declaration Grooming does. You see the geometric you know, bison right here on pretty much you know, all the soaps. Uh, there might be the odd occasion, like a one-off or a fundraiser or something like that where it doesn't follow this template. But you know, otherwise, the background is changing. You got a little like masking tape kind of thing here. Uh, sometimes people will do small runs of soaps, uh, in which case it's an actual piece of Basking tape with his handwriting on it. Um, that's, you know, on, on this case, this is all printed, waterproof and whatnot. The masking tape obviously is not waterproof and sometimes can be a point of contention for those who get really OCD about labels. So just a word of warning if you ever get one of those small run soaps. But you also can see the matching side label here, all very nicely done professional. And if you unscrew the top, you can see the fresh pour. And let's take a sniff off the tub uh, since we're here already. All right, so the write-up of this scent actually mentions a lot about coffee. I will say that off the tub and off the top, it's not a super dominant coffee scent. And granted, even what a coffee scent means to each person is a little bit different. So most coffee scents I've come across in the world of wet shaving, actually in the world of fragrances as well, is usually of the sweeter, um, you know, kind of cream and coffee kind of type scent. Uh, especially you know, things like Bailey's Irish Cream and um, you know, those kind of delightful gourmand type scents. Uh, that, I think we're going more for that, the actual coffee bean on top of other notes. So I would say this is a fairly, uh, this leans on the darker side. Uh, it, I wouldn't call it gourmand either. There's really, I'm not getting much sweetness. Uh, if anything, I get some spice and woods, but um, as usual, we'll get more to the breakdown of the scent notes and also see how the scent changes as we lather up and as we use the aftershave splash. But in the meantime, let me show you what else we got for today's shave. First up for the razor, we've got from Charcoal Goods, level two with the Magnum handle, and this is in brass. And good news, since I last used this razor, Charcoal Goods has been uh, has gotten production back up and running. So yeah, definitely follow them over on their social media. In, uh, Instagram is usually where I uh, see any news. And yeah, he, he's been posting up, uh, I think some stainless steel models, uh, maybe some brass. It's kind of as things pump out, he's list, listing them on the store. So very exciting. Uh, one, if, if you're not sure where to start, the Everyday is one of my favorite razors. That's one of the ones back in production. Otherwise, the, there are three levels for the standard heads, level one, two, and three. Um, I'm not sure the heads have all come back in production. Again, it's a little scattered, but if you've been holding out to buy uh, your first charcoal goods or maybe an additional charcoal goods, uh, I'm very happy to announce that things are rolling once again. 
So again, today's razor is the Charcoal Goods Level 2. And for my brush today is from Turn and Shave, and this is one, a custom brush that I asked uh, based on the EverReady 200. This guy is a little bit bigger, uh, you know. Uh, the knot here is a 26 millimeter uh, Fanturian V1. I picked up a few uh, when Chisel and Hound were known as that darn Rob. So I picked up a few of those V1 knots. This brush happened to get one of them. Uh, very soft knot, a little bit of gel, uh, great face lather. So um, yeah, and just, you know, this butterscotch kind of has that um, swirly, almost like a cream-like <laughs> texture. Yeah, so going with this butterscotch custom from Turn and Shave today. While I was under the weather, I really didn't get any shaves in. So we have five days worth of beard growth here, a nice amount to cut down. But before we get further into the shave, I wanna give a few plugs. So first, if you're enjoying this video, uh, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber. There are also a few new ways to help support the channel. Uh, there's a Patreon going in association with the Lather Talk podcast. Uh, you can find out more information about that at uh, www.patreon.com slash lather talk. And also I need to show off some brand new merch. There's some Lather Talk merch now and you can go to lathertalk.com. You can see some really comfy t-shirts we have in two colors, black and dark heather gray. Also, we got a coffee mug slash brush soaker. You can use the mug for both those functions, one of those, either way, uh, yeah, you can go to the merch store, check out the Patreon. These are new ways to help support the channel and support the podcast. All right, so we got the brush loaded. Let's start the face lather and get into the scent notes. So the official scent notes for 1904 include coffee, cardamom, jasmine, lime, and sandalwood. And the funny thing is, off the tub and in this lather, something about the combination of those notes reminds me of leather. And not a super raw type leather, um, something masculine about this scent as well. And as I mentioned before, there's um, there's some woody notes here too, which we can probably attribute to the sandalwood. I do get a little bit more of the coffee as I'm lathering up. And I do think that the floral note of jasmine and the citrus note lime is preventing this scent from getting too, too dark. Otherwise, again, you know, usually if I call something a leather scent, it definitely veers towards the, the darker side of the scent spectrum. But this one's doing a nice job balancing, I think, things from being too, too dark. At least for my taste. And while I can't put my finger on it, I do think most of the Chateau Luc scents have a certain style to it. So I do recognize this one as something that came from, you know, from Sean Mayer. And that's something I think if you use, I think if you just use like three or four different Chateau Luc scents, you start getting a sense of that. In particular, something about this one reminds me of Admiral, which had uh, a smoky note and some aquatic notes. Re a really unique offering, that one. All right guys, so we got the lather, all nice and uh, frothy here. And let's go in with the Charcoal Goods Level 2. So as I mentioned, I've been, I'm on the mend from a cold. This is the first time that I've gotten sick for quite a while, I think with, uh, with the pandemic and the previous winter where we really just weren't seeing anyone at all and the kids were um, in virtual school. This, I think this is the first cold that I've had to deal with in over a year. So there's a, that's kind of a funny realization. Prior to this, my daughter, is the one who I caught her from, she was home a few days from school. Uh, you know, we were able to confirm that it wasn't COVID, but she's still um, super runny nose, cough, you know, even a fever for one of the days. So we kept her home in the process of taking care of her. I got the cold, so 
That's parents at home, you kind of know the drill. It's when, <laughs> when something sickness enters the house, it spreads to everyone a lot of times. And while it's, you know, while the whole family usually coming down with the same cold is normal, we were lucky in that it's just so, so far it's just me and my daughter. I think my wife has a pretty healthy immune system, seeing as how she's an educator. And my my son's fairly resilient as well. So yeah. That's just the way things go. And so during that time, you know, just being congested and whatnot, couldn't really smell things. And as the scent experience is a big part of, I think the videos I share with you guys, that had to be put on hold since I couldn't, couldn't really give you the best impressions of something. 1904 is quite robust though, so I'm, I, I'm glad I saved it for my nose to go back to normal. And truth be told, off the tub, it's not, um, yeah, if I were in a brick and mortar store and I was smelling different shaved soaps considering what to buy, I wouldn't say I necessarily would gravitate to 1904 automatically. However, uh, upon lathering, I am, I'm enjoying what I'm getting out, out of it. We'll see. Um, I obviously have to use the aftershave splash as well, but um, I did just want to mention, yeah, it's not normally something that I would uh, gravitate towards, but I do love coffee. And so uh, this one was on my radar and I definitely want to at least give it uh, uh, a decent, you know, just decent go with it. It is also good timing since Jared and I just talked to Sean for the podcast. I'll be sure to leave a link uh, in the video and in the, in the description if you wanna check that out. Really wonderful conversation. I've never sp spoken to uh, Sean before, but the guy is really passionate about perfuming, which I think you could tell anyway, um, just from the way that he, hold he holds himself the way he talks about his creations. And we got to talk a lot about the similarities of composing music um, with uh, composing a fragrance. So as someone who dabbles you know, with the guitar and some other instruments, I really appreciated that, that part of the conversation. All right, so here I am lathering up for the second pass. First pass, no problem whatsoever. In fact, that level two head for me is very, very efficient. I've mentioned before that um, given the amount of blade feel I get from the level two and the aforementioned efficiency, I haven't tried the level three and I probably, you know, I I'm okay not trying it as I think it's just gonna be more, more blade feel, more aggression and probably too much because uh, level two is probably as aggressive as I'd like to go, at least from char charcoal goods. That's not necessarily I'll never try it, especially if, if, especially if I can borrow a level three. I just know from my regular lineup, I probably have no use for it. In general, you guys know I, I tend to favor mild, mild to medium razors. And overall, I would say not just razors, but for a lot of shaving gear, other than the uh, uh, the odd scent that'll catch my attention, like 1904, I'm at a really content place with my shaving setup right now. And here we go in for pass number two. And as I was saying, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty happy, pretty content with I'll say at least my hardware. With with the software and you know the soap side of things, I'm I'm regularly trying new things. But the list as far as hardware is very short. Um, when the Blackland era, whenever that finally comes out, I'm very curious in trying that. And that is the 3D printed stainless steel. Um, 
double edge safety razor coming out from Blackland. Based on the recent updates, I do think I do think it will come out in time for the for the Christmas holiday. And obviously that's a good like a, a, a good deadline to, to meet given you know people want to give gifts, people want to gift themselves a new razor maybe. So for sure when that razor comes out, I'll be I'll be wanting to try that one. And I had mentioned wanting to try more um, what do you call it? the the feather feather AC blades. Yeah, the Feather AC Artist Club blades. I do want to try some other razors that use that blade. Uh, I think the Razor Rock Hawk is probably one that's, that, that one's fairly affordable. Uh, that one's worth a try. And there's a few other ones too. Um, I think I think Alpha, um, I forget the name of the razor. I'll be sure to pop it in somewhere here, but uh, Alpha has a few different razors that I haven't tried, but I probably, I've heard good things about the Artist Club version. Uh, and I know, again, I'm always looking for recommendations. So if you do have an Artist Club razor, you think I should check out, you know, be sure to leave the name of it in the comments below. So that's kind of where I am with razors and brushes. Brushes. I am currently backing away from the whole hand hide thing. I, I realize that my affinity for brushes are are the pores, the actual handles themselves. And while you know, while that will always be an interest, I'm also very happy with my my brush lineup right now. So I say that, but you guys will be the first to know. As, as soon as I find something that catches my eye. But I do like how it, it kind of opens up things to get to know the current gear I have better. I know I'm always swinging from one direction of acquiring new stuff to hunkering down and appreciating and familiarizing myself with what I have. I think that's just, that's just the way hobbies go in general, whether it be shaving, whether it be music, and just other, or other things that you might collect. And I'm just gonna lather up for a quick third pass, mostly just to do some cleanup. So, very solid shave. One thing I thought I'd mention, because my that cleanup pass was sped up, I really, I really like the audio feedback I get on this charcoal goods level two. Very satisfying. Good to know about what what areas really needed that cleanup. But anyway, we're winding things down here. Let's use that 1904 splash. I know some folks lament that. Chateau Luxe does not make, you know, their uh, aftershave splashes and toners anymore. It was indeed a great, it was a bit of a thicker formula that had a lot of good skin food in it. That being said, the Declaration Grooming Aftershave Splash formula is quite excellent itself. All right, definitely getting, getting more of that coffee and cardamom right off the top from the splash. Very nice. Coffee definitely comes out more. If you were to smell the splash first, if you buy the set over the soap, you'll get, you'll definitely get more coffee vibes from that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the, have that deep roasted coffee bean type scent. More like black coffee, not 
uh, not like a sweet cream coffee kind of scent at all. All right, so let's wrap things up here. As far as 1904, you know, last video, I forgot to do my own scale of love, like, hate. 1904 gets a love for me, even though initially I was a little skeptical about it. Um, really wonderful scent. I think this is great for cooler weather, fall, winter. I mean, even like a, you know, a cooler spring day would be just fine, but uh, maybe it's that cardamom in there or just uh, what I associate with a you know, hot cup of coffee. Uh, I want it for the cooler weather, warm me up, get, get to get me going for the morning. So, so yeah, I think this will really shine in cooler weather, but obviously leave it up to your own discretion, you know, <laughs> uh, when and where you're gonna use it. I would say it's more casual use, uh, not necessarily something for the office as, again, because I get some kind of uh, leather type vibe, that can be a little off-putting for some. It's not everyone's favorite scent. So I would say leave this one to like outdoors or casual settings. And as for the soap base itself, you see me use Declaration a lot, this milk steak formula. I would say this is S-Class, that is the top tier. You know, it goes S, A, B, C. Uh, eventually I, I'll need to catalog this, but um, in trying to give you guys better information, milk steak is one of my favorites top five easily, so it's gotta be in the S-Class. I also just gotta mention Charcoal Goods Razor. The level two did fantastically, and the fact that uh, they're up and running once again means that you guys who haven't tried it, maybe you came into it as a, hobby, as a wet shaving hobbyist after they shut down for a bit. Uh, now that these are available again, and if you're curious at all, I, I, you know, I can't recommend it enough. It might take a little trial and error of which one you like, but they are quality razors for sure. So if you guys enjoy the wet shaving chatter about products and technique and all that kind of good stuff, you can get more Lather Hog on Instagram. Uh, I am over at Lather Hog. And if you're looking for a community of like-minded folks who geek out about wet shaving, then I've got to invite you guys over to the Lather Talk Discord. Again, you can also find that link in the description below or at lathertalk.com. We talk about, again, all things related to wet shaving as well as things not related to wet shaving. Recently, we started up a new channel talking about gaming and that was much more popular than I thought it would be. But uh, you know, I myself, I'm into retro games and current games and it looks like a lot of people in the Discord are as well. So if any of those things interest you, come on by, check it out. There is no obligation to stay whatsoever and it's free. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, taking some time out of your busy day and joining me for the shave. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.